Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wildfire Wrestling. I'm Tree Trunk Sean. And this is Slow Burn. And we've got a brand new show for you here tonight. No more Overgrowth, no more Scorch. That's right. Wow, what a groundbreaking evening this is going to be. A new show. Two weeks ago we saw what happened with Chris Jericho. He wanted one show, and now we've got it. Everybody's here tonight. Yes, and speaking of Jericho tonight, he is going to be defending his Cruiserweight title against Shawn Michaels in the main event. Holy shit, pretty much we're going to see the main event of SummerSlam tonight, except for his Cruiserweight title on the line. If Shawn Michaels wins, that's going to be a big, big problem for Chris Jericho going into SummerSlam. Yes, it will. Now let's get into the action. And here comes the man who changed... WFW into what it is now. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure that we're about to hear all about it, Tree Shot Shot. Chris Jericho on the I mean, you know, love him or hate him, you gotta give him credit. Look at the two championship belts. Count them. Absolutely, that he has. I mean, one around his waist, one on his hand. Yes, <laughs> one he just carries around like a gigantic bracelet. But you know, in this match against Shawn Michaels tonight, he could lose that one around his waist there. He could lose that cruiserweight title. Yeah, that's very true. And if he loses the cruiserweight championship tonight, like I said earlier, that is really going to be a big problem for him as far as uh, his momentum. But Chris Jericho riding high tonight. Look at him looking around with his world heavyweight championship in the air, the most prestigious championship belt in the history of wrestling. And uh, looking around at what he essentially believes, more than likely, is his creation. And to be fair, He's sort of got a point. Is. Yeah. <laughs> there, is, uh, there is some credence to that. Yes. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Let's hear what he has to say. I stand before you today, your undisputed WFW World Heavyweight Champion and the best in the world at what I do. And so, here we are on a new show created in my own image by my own hand. Everything you see here in this arena tonight or from any arena in the world that broadcasts WFW is because of me and that is a fact. It is also a fact that when I defended this World Heavyweight Championship against that Jericlone Edge, I left him a battered and broken shell of a man. The same can also be said for my 2008 rivalry with the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels, which saw me not only knock him out numerous times, but also saw me knock out his wife Rebecca, and I would do it all again. The fact of the matter is, nobody can touch me. So I want that cameraman right there who can thank me for his job to pan this camera around this arena right now. Soak in this creation, my creation, because Wildfire Wrestling is Jericho. Oh, here comes Edge, our former World Heavyweight Champion. Well, I guess he may have uh, something to say about Chris Jericho's comments. I was born in San Francisco. I, I didn't think much of Mr. Jericho's comments. Uh, yes, and, and I'm sure he did. Edge might say it a little bit more violently than that. Uh, last, there was a time he was going to shove uh, Evolution's balls up their asses. Yes, what violence <laughs> that would have been. Yeah, uh, yeah. We didn't quite see that, but I'm pretty sure he did kind of kick, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't really matter now, because Edge is no longer the World Heavyweight Champion. As a matter of fact, he has no championships. That's, that's got to be the best one him. Yes, uh, and I'm sure he would like to uh, claw his way back up to where he was before. He, he didn't get to hold on to that title for very long. Lost it in his very first defense. That does kind of suck for Edge. Um, it, uh, reminiscent of his title run in, in uh, 2006, his original WWE Championship run, although he only had that one for like two weeks. Huh. <laughs> but here he is against Chris Jericho. Uh, I guess he's got, he may think he deserves a rematch, and you know, he may have a point there. Yes. Edge, I'm sure that you're out here because you have some sort of delusions of grandeur about getting a rematch with me and beating me for this title. But let me just save us a whole hell of a lot of time right now and tell you that it's not going to happen. Not tonight, not any night. You have never been in my league, and I proved it two weeks ago at the Lower City Showdown. I've got to hand it to you, Chris. You beat me, and there's nothing I can do about that. 
But as the former World Heavyweight Champion, a title that I've held more than two times as many times as you have, and the man who managed to beat Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania, I deserve a rematch. And when I get that rematch, I'm gonna beat your ass. Oh man, well that was less violent than what we normally hear from him. So well here's the Heartbreak Kid, he may have something to say about all that. No, hang on a second boys and girls. Don't make me come up there and separate you two. As you well know, there is only one man who will be getting a shot at that World Heavyweight Championship belt. And that is the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Besides, Edge, aren't you a little bit busy tonight? You see, I understand that we're finally getting to the big boys section of the greatest of all time tournament tonight. And you've got one hell of a big boy on your hands tonight when you face the big show. As for you, Chris, I just got finished talking with our esteemed general manager, and he told me that not only have I been named the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, I've also been named the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship, Daddy-O. And I'll be getting my opportunity at that title tonight. See you in a bit, buddy. Oh man, Shawn Michaels and Chris Jericho, this is gonna be crazy. And here comes David Otunga, our That's... first competitor of the night in the greatest of all time tournament matches. Technically the first competitor in the history of uh, the now unified WFW. I'm sure that he's, uh, I'm sure that he is going to really make an impact here. Well, he certainly has a chance to. Uh, advancing on, he is one of the last competitors in the uh, first round, the uh, well, kind of qualification. Yeah, round. it's the yeah, it's not even really the first round. It's the preliminaries to the greatest of all time tournament. Yes. Um, of course, you can uh, see them uh, on uh, the challenge.com. But anyway, uh, David Otunga, we're, we are going to get to the end of the preliminaries here tonight, and then, as Big Show mentioned, we are going to get to the first round officially. With Edge versus Big Show, that is going to be pretty intense. Big Show earning his spot all the way back when he beat Brodus Clay, which kind of set up in motion the downward spiral. They've got a bunch of they need to go downward spiral. All right, and here we go. There we go. I don't know why Zack Ryder's on the screen right there. Uh, you know, I guess uh, everybody's. Uh, some people like Zack Ryder. He's cool. You know, we got rid of our first production guy for shenanigans like this. Well, he was obsessed with Wade Barrett. Our, our oh original god, guy. I hope our new guy isn't obsessed with Zack Ryder. Yeah, no kidding. Talk about a step down. But as I was saying, uh, before Zack Ryder popped up on our screen, uh, talking about the gutter bunch, King Kong Bundy is going to have, finally have his greatest of all time tournament match. So he, is, he hasn't been tested yet. He's going to be taking on the unhinged Cody Rhodes. So that should be interesting. But this match between Darren Young and David Otunga, pretty, uh, pretty even. Yes, I would say so. All right, here we go. And so, uh, for those wondering, last week uh, we had to take the, uh, take the week off because our arena had to be built from scratch. Yeah. We had to combine the Scorch and Overgrowth arenas into this lovely venue you see before you now. I mean, it is a pretty cool looking venue. I don't remember uh, the poles being as purple. On, uh, <laughs> on They're practically Overgrowth. pink. It's but, October here. Uh, yeah. A little late. <laughs> No kidding. But November anyway, is the real breast cancer so, awareness month here in WFW. We might, yeah, well, fuck that. We might actually uh, adjust that in the future. Um, you never know. But yeah. yeah, we did have to make a big a big adjustment to you know, put this together. We had to talk to all the wrestlers and be like, so you're all together now on the same show. It, talk about our roster being uh, really vast before. Now with only one show a week, everybody's really going to have to work hard to stand out. Yes, they sure will. Everyone's going to have to work hard just to get a spot on the program, I feel. Uh, with such a wide roster of superstars, uh, there's just not enough airtime for everyone, usually. That's very true. And you know, the thing is, for guys like Darren, o Darren Young and David Otunga, this Grace of All-Time Tournament match is one of their surefire ways of getting airtime. And so for whoever loses this match, that's a big loss because they are they have no telling how long it's going to be before they're on TV again. Yes, you're absolutely right. Once you get that dreaded star by your name in the mid-card, it could be weeks before you get to come back around. <laughs> yeah, very true. Uh, Darren Young doesn't even look like he knows where he is. and But where he is is going back inside the ring, uh, thanks to the hands of David Otunga. Like we were saying, these are pretty two evenly matched guys. Uh, neither of them have really 
uh, gone on to much greatness in this in the <laughs> WWE or WFW. Darren Young actually, uh, remember the primetime players with Titus O'Neil there? Yes. Uh, they were the tag team champions, so that's good. Um, David Otunga has never really done anything. You know, Titus O'Neil, uh, fairly recently, he got a shot at being the number one contender for the Intercontinental title and uh, unfortunately lost that to uh, Alberto Del Rio. Yeah. Who then did lost. nothing with his opportunity. Yeah, yes. Yeah, okay. Oh, man. Oh, did you see that? What a clothesline off the eye poke. Yes. Uh, there from David Otunga. Titus Very O'Neil. classy combination. Yeah, Titus O'Neil not liking what he's seen. I'm sure he's not. Not one bit. But, you know, uh, that's another interesting <laughs> thing about the merge with, for WFW is the United States and Intercontinental Championship are both in play, so uh, they're just all under one roof now. Yes. Uh, which, you know, I think that's good. Uh, everybody, it kind of, it cuts the limitations of who can compete with who. Uh, not having that split anymore. So, our champions have to be on the watch for everyone. The roster is no longer split for them. And there's going to be a lot of people vying for the Intercontinental Championship in particular after he successfully defended the title against Alberto Del Rio. So, uh, you know, the title contention is wide open at this point. Uh, we know kind of Mark Henry just won the United States Championship recently over Drew McIntyre, so uh, we kind of know that, that this, those guys are going to face off for that championship. But the Intercontinental Championship, it's going to be pretty interesting. Yes, indeed. Uh, the Million Dollar Man, he is ready to take on all challengers. And, uh, well, we're just not sure yet who that will be. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. It could be uh, David Otunga or Darren Young, although that's unlikely. But it's huh. possible. Ryback, a former Intercontinental Champion. He was Intercontinental Champion at the beginning of WFW, though it did only lasted a week. Yes, may not have even lasted that long. I believe he lost yeah, it's five days. of overgrowth. Yeah, so five. Yeah, not very impressive. Yes. One of the weakest title streaks, uh, title runs in the history of wrestling in general. Well, definitely the weakest in the history of... Uh, Wildfire Wrestling. Yes, that's for sure. Or Darren Young going for that uh, gut buster thing he does. Oh, I love that move. Nicely done. Oh, just nailed. David Otunga. That could be it. It sure could be. He just got some ribs full of knees. But the manager is in. I think it would have been out. I think I think that would have been enough. Yes, but referee Neil Patrick Harris, very squirrel-like as always. It doesn't matter if he's on two shows or one. He's always going to be distracted by the managers. <laughs> yeah, thank goodness that we have him. Wow, he just ejected Ryback, though. Not taking any crap from Ryback here tonight. I mean, he did uh, just kind of screw Darren Young that time, but Ryback uh, being sent away. Yes, sometimes uh, he loses his patience quickly, does Neil Patrick Harris. Um, you know, uh, David Otunga, quite frankly, is lucky that Ryback didn't get him disqualified there. He could have attacked Darren Young while he was outside. I suppose that's true. Oh, man, this nailed uh, Darren Young right there in the face. Uh, I guess that's part of the job. Anyway, uh, one, <laughs> of the, one of the things that uh, you know, we want to make clear here in, in WFW and the, new, the way the new show breaks down is uh, there was actually, the show is longer now. That's just one show. We're going to have seven matches a week yes. as a part of WFW, which does oh. give these guys a little bit more of an opportunity. But uh, still, not the ten-match opportunity that they had old way. And that was barely getting them any airtime to begin with. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, hell, John Cena had to come out to the ring and uh, deliver poetry to us uh, to let us know how dissatisfied he was at his lack of airtime just last week. Yeah, thank God he did that. Oh, man, Darren Young just got planted by David Otunga. Good that could day. be it. Come on. Oh, but Neil Patrick Harris distracted by Titus O'Neil. I think that would have been enough for a three count, too. Most definitely, actually. But, oh, wait. And, and now Titus O'Neil has been ejected. No manager is safe tonight. Well, that's good. Another eye poke, which, of course, Neil Patrick Harris was not paying attention to. Darren Young just oh. got DDT'd straight to hell, rolling outside the ring. That's Wise smart move. thinking. Yeah, no kidding. Somehow Darren Young with that. Oh, my goodness. Darren Young firing up on David Otunga. Holy crap. Sure He's beating the hell out of him right here. Good Lord. Yes, just threw so many strikes. Uh, knocking his head back oh. against that barrier. Oh, and dropping an E on him. Or so we assume. Uh, from this, not the best camera angle right here. Yes, <laughs> you're absolutely right about that. Oh, man, nice clothesline from David Otunga. One of the few moves he knows how to do. Yes, he, uh, he, this is not the most technical match we've ever seen here. No, Wait, that, which is a shame because Wildfire Wrestling is kind of known for its technical uh, matchups. Yes, of course. Um, I mean, we've got so many... 
I was gonna try to slim it down to uh, a type. Oh, oh. But I don't know what he's. At least he was able to save himself, I guess. But we have great wrestlers of all types: cruiserweights, submission specialists, high flyers, oh strikers. Goodness. And now it looks like we're gonna have somebody put through a table. Uh oh, oh! And it's Darren Young. Oh, oh just DDT right through the announce table once again. Call in IKEA. Yes, absolutely. IKEA is not going to be pleased about this. Their new <laughs> special green tables. Um, and Darren Young, he's not getting back up. No, he's he out. Oh, wait, look. Oh, look. Well, and he, he immediately got up. He I guess he could hear us. Well, he, is, he was right at our feet, so. Yeah, we fired him up by doubting him. And now he's on the apron. And, oh, leg drop on David Otunga. Yeah, shades of the Undertaker on that. Wow, going up again for a high-risk move. I don't know if that's the wisest move, but oh. it, it panned out. This could be it. But he's going to go for the pin, too. Oh, oh, that was close. That was a close two count. I know Patrick Harris, but David Otunga did definitely kick out. Holy crap, this is, uh, this is great. Yes. Darren Young putting up quite the fight Ooh. after uh, we thought he was unconscious just moments ago. He's busted open. Oh, no, oh, and then he just got oh. planted by David Otunga. That may be it right there. Definitely going to be One, it. One, two, three. It's over. Darren Young defeated. Though he put up a heck of a fight against David Otunga, like we said, very evenly matched, and that was a, I thought that was a great matchup to start off WFW. Yes, I agree. Ooh, man. A lot the DDT of... that busted him open, I think that was really where, uh, that was the beginning of the end. Yeah, but that DDT on the announce table didn't know it matters. Hopefully we'll see that again. <laughs> no, it did not. Here it is, right uh, here, right in front of us. Boom. Oh, my goodness. His head may have collided with the concrete below. It may have. Darren Young initiated his own demise there. And then planted wow. in the middle of the ring. By a very excited David Otunga. I'm sure he is excited. He is going on to the greatest of all time tournament. Like we said earlier, this is a huge opportunity for his career. Yeah, definitely. And he, he came through uh, with a little bit of help from Ryback. Ryback, uh, he may have lost a match early on if it hadn't been for Ryback. But the same could be said for Darren Young. So yes. uh, I'd say uh, par for the course on that one. And David Otunga moving on. Alright, Bunny, tonight you're being nice, so don't go out there and blow it like the... What the hell are you doing here? Ah, my friends. I have seen the cosmic alignment, and it is pointing straight back into the heart of man. First, one by one, the beautiful people will fall until finally a savior rises from adversity to save them all. What the hell are you talking about? But that savior is neither of you two fat, stupid imbeciles. So tonight, there will be nothing to save you from the wrath of Stardust. Oh my! That man is a freak. Kinda like us, huh, boss? Maybe we should get him to join up with us. Alright, and we have got another match in the Greatest of All Time tournament. And here comes King Kong Bunny, and when I think Greatest of All Time, that's what I think of. I think of King Kong Bunny in the gutter bunch. Here we go. That is absolutely how I feel too, slow burn. <laughs> and we just got Brodus Clay accompanying him down here. King Kong Bunny with his chance to prove himself in one-on-one -on -one action at last. Yeah, well, we saw some really strange statements from Cody Rhodes, uh, I guess Stardust, whatever the hell he is, uh, before this match as uh, Brodus Clay was trying to pump up uh, <laughs> King Kong Bundy here. Brodus Clay, I guess still the leader of the gutter bunch, uh, although... For some reason. Yeah, <laughs> like I said, that's, that's like being the hottest snowball or something, like just not... Not, not gonna work. No, nah, not really that big a deal. <laughs> Not a snowball, huh? I don't That's a know. new one. I haven't heard that one before. Yeah, I pulled that one ass. <laughs> King Kong Bundy, though, he is a large man. If he can just, like, sit on Cody Rhodes or something, he may win. And that may be the ticket indeed, Slowburn. But here comes the crazed man himself. Uh, well, not just yet. He's got to lurk through the grass of the, wild, of, of the former Overgrowth Arena, which is now grown further and has fire everywhere. Yes. You know, Cody Rhodes, quite frankly, looks like he could be a character in Mortal, uh, Mortal Kombat. Really? Yes. Huh. I mean, 
and I'm not sure which one. Uh, he just, you know, doesn't he look like he would fit into you? With the that staff and everything? Yes. Yeah, I guess. Get up. I guess. I mean, the clock doesn't really make any sense. I'm not really sure. I guess he... Yeah, I sure guess watches you know. are just too old school. Yeah. Well, but yeah. Clocks are retro. That is true. I mean, and I mean, if you smashed a a watch into your head, it wouldn't be as sexy. Yeah. You would. Yeah, you would just look like an idiot. Yeah. With the clock, you look like a crazy idiot. There you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah they, that's what he's thinking. Uh, I'm not sure what that staff does. Well, I know that there's like some smoke and shit that blows out of it. I don't know, know what he's doing. Is he like dancing or like... <laughs> Rodas Clay looks like... Not, he looks non plus. Rodas Clay was just kind of... Sitting there. Looking at it. Yeah. And King Kong Bunny also does not look too intimidated by this. Uh, I'm not sure why he would be. But Rode, Cody Rhodes definitely former Intercontinental Champion. He's accomplished more. And here we go. Oh, yes. This is a... Uh... You know, there's a really interesting matchup here. Two, uh, two very interesting individuals. Well, yeah, I mean... I mean, King Kong Bundy proven to be uh, not very good, quite frankly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, look at these moves. I mean, so no wasted motion. I mean, he is just really taking it to Cody Rhodes. Look at that headbutt there. Yes, he is off to a great start here. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm underestimating him a bit, though uh, he is, uh, he's only been in tag matches so far, and uh, I believe he's been a manager a couple of times, but he has not tasted victory yet. <laughs> Still, the only member of the Gutter Bunch who has won a match is the Great Khali, right. clearly the strongest, uh, uh, the best wrestler in the Gutter Bunch. He's also the only former World Heavyweight Champion in the Gutter Bunch. Yes. Which is, might have been the worst World Heavyweight Championship brain of all time, quite frankly. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm still surprised every time I hear it. Yeah. I know that I, I know that I knew that, but it's like one of those memories you repress. Right. It just keeps locked back in the closets of my mind. Yeah, kind of like how he like squashed the Undertaker that one time. Oh no. Yeah, you kind of get to try to forget about that. Yes. Pretty sure that was on one of the top ten things that you want. That WWE wants you to forget about the Undertaker on that Dash channel, you know that channel that does that kind of stuff. Yes. What culture? What culture? Adam from What Culture is pretty cool guy. Okay. He's foreign. I like that. Indeed. We're no xenophobes here in Wildfire no, Wrestling. No, uh, I did not call a guy an idiot in the comment section just because he's from Korea. Definitely did not happen. <laughs> <laughs> But this match, oh, uh, man. oh, quite the toss there from King Kong Bundy. Oh now my goodness! The elbow. It looks like King Kong Bundy has been pretty much in control this entire match. I I haven't seen much out of Cody Rhodes, but no, well, he did that. Cody Rhodes has done some pretty good stuff. I'll uh, I'll vouch for him. I don't know what he's doing right here. He just gave him a gentle slap on the face, and then nice. Huh. That was interesting. Yeah, he like... killed all his momentum with that walk. <laughs> yeah. And barely gets a one count from that. <laughs> Rodas Clay up on the apron. He really putting the pressure on King Kong Bunny to do well. Yes. And you Despite know the fact that, that Rodas Clay has not done any better than King Kong Bunny. <laughs> I guess he must be a truly charismatic leader. That's the only thing I can imagine here. But uh, he, even he did invent the word fluster cup. Yes. Uh, put that shit on a t-shirt. Yeah. I think we will. All right. Wildfire Wrestling t-shirts, everyone. Watch for them. Yeah. They're coming. They're going to be awesome. Yeah. 2018. <laughs> At the latest. <laughs> well, yeah. Great. Oh, man, look at that. Once, once uh, King Kong Money gets Cody Rhodes down, that's where the point is. Yes, yeah, so he can just drop that huge body on him, and really he doesn't have to do much else. Just kind of crush him. Yeah, holy crap. He may have just had his arm broken there, though, by Cody Rhodes. He's going to go for it again. Look Ooh. at this. Oh, uh, what a oh my that goodness. Is. No kidding. Like That's hard to watch. Yeah, sure is. Wow, some uh, mark in the... Whoa, look at this. Oh, roll up, one, two. Whoa! Ooh, that was close. No kidding. Oh my god, he almost lost the match right there. Nice drop kick from Cody Rhodes. Yeah, that would have been a really embarrassing loss. You know you're ineffective as a manager when uh, Neil Patrick Harris is not distracted by you. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, multiple times, go. Brodus Clay has gotten up on the apron and Neil Patrick Harris was completely unfazed. Yeah, that's pretty embarrassing. What's but, this? Look at the strength wow. of Cody Rhodes. Wow. What's he doing with it? Oh, my goodness. The Alabama Slam. We learned that one from uh, Hardcore Holly. Hardcore Holly. You know, famous for his crate of bananas. Yes. As you know. One. Oh. oh. Wow. Well, 
That's pretty resilient. He didn't learn it too well, I guess. Yeah, that was pretty resilient kick out there by King Kong Lundy. Sure was. Didn't even get to a two count. Here's Brodus Clay again, looking on helplessly. Yeah. King Kong Bundy is on his back. He's like a turtle. That is never where he wants to be. Now Cody Rhodes. Sent him up. Nailed him oh. with the crossroads. Nice. Yeah. Will that be it? He's pulling him out to the middle of the ring. That could He's be it. Him. Very well One, could be. Two. Three. It's over. Wow. <laughs> Cody and Rhodes. The gutter bunches defeated streak continues. <laughs> Did not go too well for King Kong Bundy there. Brodus Clay was unable to even get Neil Patrick Harris's attention throughout the match. Yes, he was completely inconsequential. <laughs> the most inconsequential manager in the history of WFW. And, uh, you know, King Kong Bundy, he didn't, he got off to a decent start. Yeah. But, but he got snapped by uh, Crossroads, and that's it. Cut off at the Crossroads, if you will. Ah, yes. Very clever. Thank you. And, uh, and Cody Rhodes, good for him. Moving on in the Grace of All Time Tournament. I mean, he... That man is insane. <laughs> he is absolutely nuts. Yes. And now, all of the gutter bunches hope lie with the great the Kali. Great Kali. He is the only one of their ranks in the greatest of all time tournament. Even Tensai, their new member, was actually, yeah, he, he joined after he lost the greatest of all time tournament. So. Right. They, they recruited him because he did such a great job. Yes. Uh, great Kali, uh, in the weeks ahead, will be facing Seth Rollins in the greatest of all time tournament. Uh, See how that goes. Shake it up. Speaking of shaking things up, it's three of me, baby. They have been on a roll. Heath Slater is able to defeat Sin Cara. Sin Cara despite yeah. the fact that they barely beat Sin Cara in a three-on-one match. Uh, we were pretty surprised about that. But uh, Zack Ryder is also in three and B. Am I correct? On that? No, no, no. Is he part of? Oh, never mind. He's part of the Suck It team, right? Yeah, those guys. What? Um, his shirt says "Sick." On oh, the yeah. yeah. Looks like something. Yeah. Anyway, he does. well, uh, <laughs> uh, to be honest, he is kind of the least proven uh, member of 3MB. Justin Gabriel, he's later actually former tag team champions. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, he's out here. You know, he's right there huh. outside the ring. Well, he's gonna manage Jinder Mahal. Hopefully, he does a little bit better of a job. Generation X, Evolution, the NWO, everybody is talking about this big faction war that is being waged for dominance of WFW. But what they all can't seem to get is that the true most dominant faction in WFW is 3MB. Oh. Heath Slater defeated Sin Cara at the Lower City Showdown, and Justin Gabriel here beat Goldberg on the final episode of Overgrowth. Tonight, it is my turn to begin the journey towards becoming the greatest of all time. Wow, big words from Jinder Mahal there. Let's see if he can back it up. No kidding, here comes The Miz, his opponent tonight in the greatest of all time tournament, former WWE champion. Always got something to say. Jinder, you've got a point about 3MB being the most dominant faction in WFW, but I'm the most must-see WWE champion of all time. I beat John Cena in the main event of WrestleMania. And tonight, I'll beat you too. Wait, if we're the most dominant faction, and you're the most must-see champion, that makes this the most important match in wrestling history. That it does. Now prepare yourself. Wow, oh here, here we go. <laughs> huh. well, here we go. Uh, it's too off to uh, not the quickest of starts, but we do have the WFW belly to belly uh, here. Classic move by Jinder Mahal. Yes, long time no see with that one. Ooh, followed up by a jawbreaker. Well, that's the Miz in the jawbreaker. Yes. Yeah. And here we go. Boom, big slam from the Miz. Now the Miz, like he said, he I don't know about the mu most must see WWE champion of all time. Matter of fact, he was probably one of the worst. But uh, the Miz definitely was a former WWE champion, and he was definitely better than the Great Khali. Yeah, but uh, that's not a particularly high bar to uh, high bar to beat there. Yeah, it's like um, <laughs> I bet it's like, it's like being a, more, it's like being the least annoying person in the writing center. <laughs> oh, oh man, that was awesome. Okay. Yes, indeed. Here we go. Boom! Ooh. Nice and zingari. And now he's Miz trying to follow that up. Miz, a bit more of a dynamic uh, performer compared to Jinder Mahal. 
But the Miz doesn't have any, didn't have a manager here tonight. Drew McIntyre, I guess, thought he was just too important to help the Miz here this evening. Uh, so it's just the Miz against uh, Jinder Mahal. He has to worry about Justin Gabriel on the outside. Unless, of course, Neil Patrick Harris continues his streak of being really focused, uh, in which case he has nothing to fear. Yes, Neil Patrick Harris has really been on his game tonight with taking care of the managers. Oh, and here comes another belly-to-belly -belly suplex from Jinder Mahal. It's like the only move Jinder Mahal has done in this match. Yes, I'm throwing several strikes. He, uh, as you said, he's not the most versatile wrestlers. Oh, here we uh, go. Wrestlers. Neck Boom. breaker. Nicely done there by Jinder Mahal. It's about time, but can he follow it up with some more pressure? No, he just kind of stayed there so that the Miz could get his bearings. But slammed his face down on the mat and yes. stomped on him in the kidney area. Yes, he's still, uh, despite not having a whole lot of diversity in his moveset, he's staying in this match just fine. He's been controlling it for several seconds now. Oh. But so, that so, Russian leg sweep put an end to that. Yeah, and these uh, punches to the face are not going to help matters. Oh. Not going to help him one bit. Yeah. And Justin Gabriel just looks on in despair and yeah, disappointment he's not, from outside. Yeah, not happy so far. I think, yeah, Justin Gabriel was another big uh, victory for 3MB, remember? If you remember on one of the, it might have been the last episode of Overgrowth, in fact. Huh. The final episode. He beat Goldberg, remember? Yes, yeah. yes, that's right. Uh, big, dis big embarrassment for Goldberg, who really looks down on guys who are much smaller than him. You can just ask Chris Jericho about that. And we kind of see how that turned out. Sure. Uh, right. So, you know, I mean, take what Goldberg says about cruiserweights with a grain of salt. As a matter of fact, uh, Bloom is a cruiserweight, uh, considered one, so maybe a victory here would help him get into even closer contention. Although, to be honest with you, I don't think him beating the Miz, or just Jin, or Jinder Mahal, whoever the hell this guy is. Yeah, you can see how important he is, I mean, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, I don't know if it's going to do much for him as far as the rankings go. Yes. It's kind of like uh, how Dana White would book Ronda Rousey against some scrubs on purpose. But no more. No more indeed. Um, well, that's one undefeated streak ended. But um, some are still hopeful. But that's not relevant to WFW. Not at all. We've got real wrestling here and none of that fake shit like UFC. <laughs> yeah. We don't, we don't uh, pre-plan our outcomes. Yes. Ooh. They got to work for them. The Miz getting really slammed against the mat there. And now, the, uh oh, wait a minute, look oh, at this, it could be up. over. One. Wow, Neil oh. Patrick Harris in great position there, but it was a good kick out from Jimmy Mahal. Yep, he really took his time to, uh, starting that count there. Now, Justin Gabriel, he has distracted Neil Patrick Harris, but it is too late. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris, he's pointing wildly. He doesn't seem to have ejected him yet, though. Nope, uh, he's going to give Justin Gabriel another chance. Boom. Man, nice. Uh, this is pretty competitive here with uh, a lot of uh, head smacks into the mat. Lot, yes. That's that's one of Jinder Mahal's favorites, apparently. Yes. We're going to call that the Jinder Mahal special <laughs> from now on. Oh, look at this. Sounds like a plan. Oh, interesting. Oh, uh, and bring oh. him down on his leg. Okay. Yeah, so it's got to rack the knees and stepping on the face. The Miz has a very interesting move set here. Yeah, not, a, not the most respectful competitor. No, he is not. Oh, boy. He's going to come out of this with a concussion if the Jinder Mahal special keeps up. Yeah, no kidding. That's going to be a problem. Look at this. He spiked him. Holy oh, wow. shit. He, I mean, he planned him. Sure did. That looked like a broken net. Oh. Oh, finally, Neil Patrick Harris. Falling Got victim distracted. to his old ways. But now, oh, man. all being tossed into the ropes and took Justin Gabriel off the apron. Skull oh. crushing finale. That could be it. But but Neil Patrick Harris is still oh, well. distracted from before, and I don't think that would have been a three count anyway. What just happened? Jinder Mahal just hit him with a key blast midair. Wow. One. <laughs> oh, man, and they kick out at one. <laughs> sure. Uh, wow. He swung his knee, and then there was a bright flash, and... Uh, oh, man. Wow. Look at the height. That was awesome. Kind of like a choke slam or something. Yeah. Holy shit. Uh, it reminded me of the rock bottom. Yeah. That was a pretty cool move by Jinder Mahal. Could that be Drag it? Drag him out to the middle of the ring. No way. One. Two. Oh, oh, and a kick a out from count. the miss. Oh, man. That's got to be hard. That's got to be disheartening for... Jinder Mahal there. That was a pretty awesome move. Got yeah, it sure was. And a big boot. Jinder Mahal rolling here. Really changing it up here towards uh, the later stages of the match. This could be it. It sure could be. One. Oh, nope, but it isn't. Oh. Miz looks like he's going to send Jinder Mahal outside the ring. Maybe that's a good idea to get a breather. Oh, yep. I'm going to hit him with a quick spear off the apron. That was a very gay uh, sequence there by uh, the Miz. That's good. Huh. We don't discriminate here in WFW. I don't know what the hell those idiots are doing. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, proving that God. 3MB is a coordinated team. <laughs> That's what they're doing. <laughs> now he's putting the Miz in the corner. Never mind. Now he's bringing him up. 
And he's going just down. Just got dropped by the Miz with a little pause in the action there. Yes, time froze for just a moment. That is how hard Jinder Mahal just hit. Oh the no! Back. Speaking of hard hitting, oh, oh no! Again, oh, how is he not move. dead? How is his neck not broken? <laughs> oh, it looks like Neil Patrick Harris is distracted oh, again. No. Surely he will eject Justin Gabriel at this point. Whoa! Oh. Hey, it's Rick Flair! Oh my that, gosh! Is Somebody who matters is here. Yes. He's well, got a sledgehammer. I, uh, he, what? Oh my gosh! Is thank he God. On the Miz's side? I don't know, but I'm glad he's here. Wait a minute! It's Brock Lesnar. It's Brock. Also, somebody I, who met. He's just beating the hell out of Ric Flair. Wow! So Brock Lesnar recently had a scuffle with the NWO. Uh, he had no beef with Evolution that we're aware of, though. This is a this is a big. They're having a match outside. That's much more important than the one on the inside. Yes, we have no idea why Ric Flair came out. Brock Lesnar came out to stop Flair. And uh, they're going all, at it out there. All hell is breaking loose. They wanted to be booked tonight, did not get it. Uh, and so Ric Flair just got hit with the sledgehammer, courtesy of the And look Patrick at this. Harris. The Miz oh. got planted in the ring. He sure did. Everything is moving in slow motion. Yes, the it arena is. itself cannot handle it. And One the count. Miz kicked out. What a wow. match. This is the most important match of all time. Yes, the world, <laughs> the universe is oh. ripping apart right before us. The time space continuum could end. Amazing. Oh, oh kicks to the chest. <laughs> yeah. Look at this clothesline from hell. It looks so much more impactful in slow motion, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I would agree. This is this is a, this is amazing. What a moment in wildfire wrestling history we are witnessing right now. It sure is, ladies and gentlemen. Little known fact, but Slowburn actually sees everything like this. Right. Uh, that's part of the reason why slow is in his name. That's true. This is like kind of my life that you're all experiencing. I hope you enjoy it. Wow, Ric Flair, I guess, got the upper hand against Brock Lesnar. That's impressive. Yes, I don't even see Brock Lesnar anymore. He killed him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, he killed him. Uh, Ric Flair ran Brock Lesnar straight out of Compton. Oh, he look sure at this. But Jinder Mahal going for the pin. One, two. Oh, oh no, with the Miz able to yet again. Out. So I'm still not sure whose side Ric Flair is on. And I could have sworn Justin Gabriel get, uh, got ejected, but he's still there. <laughs> yeah, I guarantee you he got ejected. I don't know why. I guess the referee was just more interested in what was going on outside the ring. There was a sledgehammer in the ring for a while, but I, it's like Justin Gabriel thinks it's a tag match at this point. He's just <laughs> waiting to be brought in. Oh, and look at this. So, wow. Wait that, a minute, Ric Flair's distracting Neil Patrick Harris? He's against the Miz! I guess so. Wait a minute, you gotta Jinder be kidding Mahal me. It's Evolution Joy 3 and me. I see it. <laughs> Wait a minute. The Miz is not happy about it. He just collided with something. He, he tripped over the sledgehammer and it slowed his whole body down. Oh my down. god, Ric Flair is screwing the Miz here. Yes, everyone is screwing the Miz. I guess Brock Lesnar was on his side and. I don't know this what is, the, well, I, don't even, I don't know what to believe anymore. This is a very confusing match all around. And the Miz the just Miz jumped <laughs> off of nothing. <laughs> no <laughs> one. <laughs> what? We have, uh, what we have lost control yeah, of this, this world completely. Oh, man. But The Miz still trying to hold on. Just punched Ric Flair and nothing <laughs> who, happened. Who null sold it like a champ. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. He just kept doing what He's he was doing. He's got him in the, uh, the Paul Nelson Right, here. Paul Nelson. Thank you. Oh, but Ric Flair breaking it up. No, surely oh, no Patrick but, Harris saw okay. that. Okay. That finally, no Patrick Harris did his job. Wow, the Miz. that was like the world versus the Miz there. Miz high water has moved on in the greatest of all time <laughs> tournament. That was pretty awesome. He he finally earned some respect from me. I don't think it'll last long. But no. but the Miz moving on to face Bret Hart way later in the tournament. That's very exciting. There was that weird move by Jinder Mahal. Yes. Oh man, that was an awesome match here in WWE. That's what WWE is all about: chaos and craziness and yes, broken physics and broken physics yes broken logic <laughs> chaos craziness and broken physics that's the wfw mantra right there yes wow and finally there's the full nelson the broken uh that uh, finally ended it though rick flair did just straight up hit the miz he sure did break that up. oh my goodness this is that, what a uh, fluster cuck as brodus clay would say yes the Miz showing himself to be truly resilient here. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, he he went through like three or four people, depending on what Brock Lesnar was trying to do. Yes. Uh, I'm not sure what the problem is between Evolution and uh, Brock Lesnar. Maybe we can uh, figure it out later on as the night develops. Yes, but you know, that truly was the most important match of history. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our guest at this time, Mr. Fuji Yokozuna.
Mr. Fuji, Vicky Langston is a new day and said that Yokozuna can't beat him without your help. What do you have to say to him about that? Ah, New Day is a bunch of stupid, stupid Americans. They are typical of the bigotry and lack of honor that is all over this twisted, terrible country. Yokozuna and I are the most honorable men in this business, and my Yokozuna will make Big E as flat as a rice patty. Here comes the first superstar, if you could tell that, in this Fatal 4-Way match. It yeah. is Virgil. Yes, this is going to be a definitely going to be a match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. All of these um, guys are trying to, you know, get in contention for something. They just they just want to just want to get noticed, and that, this is an opportunity. Uh, essentially, my thought process in creating this match, or whoever wasn't creating this match, I mean, um, was uh, wow, Virgil really dancing. There. Was yeah. these are all guys that have not really had actual sanctioned matches um, ah. as far as WFW. Yes, uh, you're right about that. At least not one-on-one uh, -on -one matches. We have seen several of these people um, in action, or at least around. We've definitely seen them around. I'm not sure that we've... I can't remember if we've seen Kevin Nash in a match or not. I don't think so. I think he was definitely a manager at one point. But I don't think he would... Well, click click live. Click is uh, it's in effect here. Yes. Uh, but he, I don't think that he actually has had a match yet. So this is a big uh, big moment for him in this Fatal 4 way. I'm sure he expects to win. Former world champion that he is. Uh, many consider him to be the most overrated world champion of all time, which uh, is kind of true. Uh, but, you know, he was still better than the Great Khali, so we got we to gotta give him that. Won't we feel silly now if the Great Khali goes all the way? I think at one point, to show you how ridiculous WCW was, I think at one point Jay Leno was in contention for the world championship. Oh, wow, that's, that is something else. Yeah, and David Arquette, who made a really shitty movie that had wrestlers in it, was the world championship. Huh. Yeah, some some movie director who made a B movie was the one I guess it goes to show that anybody could win in WCW but well, not WFW yeah that's why WCW lost that's just don't like it is yes but we let Nash stick around anyway yeah I don't really know why mostly because uh, we wanted to get Scott Hall over here and you know Kevin Nash kind of goes with him so there he yeah is. we love chainmail here in WFW yeah and now, another guy who was one of the least impressive world heavyweight champions of all time, Jack Swagger. Man, who hasn't been a uh, world heavyweight champion at some point? Virgil. Oh. <laughs> I can say that with confidence. <laughs> what an opportunity for Virgil to go up against these former world champions. Yes. Uh, I mean, wow. Talk, if, if Virgil comes away the winner of this, uh, you know what? I'm pulling for Virgil in this match. Let's, I'm just going to say that right now. You know Look what? at that guy. He was too. <laughs> Did you see that virtual sign? Wow. That's awesome. That guy rules. Yes. I think that I am rooting for our next contender who will be coming out, Randy Savage. Oh, how lame. You mean you're pulling for the guy who actually is good in this match? What a load of crap. The macho man is awesome. That's it's, all there is to say about it. Your brain is on the Fritz brother. Yes, the macho man may be making an appearance here in this fatal four-way matchup. Oh yes, and it may be an appearance of skill and grace and victory. Oh yeah, man. Uh, oh yeah, indeed, Silver. Yeah, he is really dressed up here. I mean, I don't know what that nonsense is coming from his uh, outfit, but it is loud. That's for sure. I can like hear it, even though I can't hear anything else coming from the TV right now. Yes, that is something else. That is. About as ridiculous as it could possibly get. <laughs> That's the Macho Man for you. Yeah. Look at that hat. <laughs> well, uh, he could be a top contender for the Intercontinental Championship here. He is certainly uh, near the top of the mid-card. Yeah. I mean, the the uh, hierarchy of the roster definitely got sh shaken around with the uh, merge. But I agree. I think I'm pretty sure Randy Savage is great. Yeah. And here we go. Man, Ooh, Virgil, Virgil, look at that. All right. Blood. Virgil's raising hell. <laughs> Randy Savage hitting oh, a Russian leg sweep on, on Jack Swagger. Kevin Nash, give me a break. Let, let, him, let him have his moment. 
Yeah. Oh, man. What a jerk. Man, Kevin Nash not too happy about getting drop kicked there. Well, and uh, really, I can't blame him for that. Yeah, I guess it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what Virgil's finisher is. Uh, I'm sure nobody does, but if you do, let's know in the comment section below. Well, um, I'm not entirely certain he has one. Yeah, he may have never won a match, to be honest. <laughs> Huh. Well, I mean, here in WFW, uh, like you pointed out before, he's never even been in a match. No, none of these guys have. Ooh, there's a drawbreaker. Um, Jack Swagger wow. oh. is... Oh, wow, big low, low, blow. low blow. yeah. Look at this, nice uh, German suplex there. I enjoyed that. Jack Swagger actually made... He's not bad, necessarily. He's had some pretty good matches, but he just hmm. never really had the charisma to back it up. Right. Um, so maybe maybe he can break out of his shell as part of WFW, especially if he wins his match. That would be pretty, pretty impressive. Yes, yeah, so it would be a big confidence booster. A big whoever wins this match is a huge first showing for them. Uh, a really, you know, it's odd this match because it's very low stakes. Uh, there's not even a number one contender spot on the line. Uh, it's just the rankings, but it says more for their morale than anything. This one, it's a big chance to get something set in motion to get yourself some momentum going uh, to take a, uh, a classic WFW shoulder charge, which I'm sure there will be several of here. Yeah, okay. I'm sure there are going to be several. Is Virgil, he's kind of got Kevin Ash on the ropes again. Look at this. He sure does. Nice. Ooh, what a takedown. All right, Virgil laying the smack down. Yes. And now uh, there was the uh, the arm drag from Macho Man there. Yeah, I like oh, that. Oh, and the eye rake from Jack Swagger. Oh, yeah, there you go. Ooh, Jack Virgil Swagger. delivered another drop kick. Oh, good. Tried for another one. They missed. Yes. That's unfortunate. Yes, missed big time. Oh. <laughs> it's like the miss coming off the top left. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> well, you know, it happens. You know, uh, Jack Swagger, a part of that unnamed trio alongside uh, David Otunga, who was victorious earlier tonight, right? Yes. Yes. And uh, Ryback, so, you know, he could uh, continue the trend. We got a new announce table, thank you. Yes, uh, but, you know, these guys are dangerously close to it. Ikea, need, uh, Ikea may need to rush right back out here. Yeah, I'm sure they would not be happy about that. The not purple, as the purple uh, green posts look on. Uh, Randy Savage, little uh, little showboat man. Yes, a little bit of a the audience. Oh, Kevin Nash going for a cover already. Oh, wow. But I think Virgil's got a bit more fight in him than that. Look and, at that uh, strength by Virgil. That was yes, beautiful. just picked him right up. All right. That's my man. He's kind of like uh, the Oakland Ooh. Raiders. Uh, I, hope, well, I hope that there was no racial overtones in that statement. There's but, not a flattering uh, comparison there. The Oakland Raiders are pretty well frowned upon. Oh, no. The Oakland Raiders are my team, baby. We got to pull for them if we're going to go to California. Uh, San Diego has a team. Yeah, they suck. The Chargers? Yeah, fuck them. The Chargers. I think are good. Jack Swagger was just doing push-ups on Randy Savage's back. That is, talk about disrespect. I think he's about to do it again. Yes, that's really unusual behavior. Yeah, that's almost Billy Gunn levels right there. I would be really <laughs> uncomfortable if I were the Macho Man right now. Yeah. I also, oh man, what a clothesline though. Yes, it was. All those push-ups gave him the strength. There you go. He's really taking it too, Jacks or uh, the Macho Man out here. Yes. Macho Man's probably oh, glad to be back in the ring. Uh, is about to hit some sort of maneuver. Oh. I what? think he dropped him. I think so. Wow. Virgil what? proved to be too heavy for Kevin Nash. <laughs> Never mind. He overcame that. Uh, overcame that. Hey, look at this. There. Man, Randy oh. Savage. That was a slick move. Yes, that was very bold. <laughs> oh man. Now in the square dance, we're changing parts. Oh, Randy give Savage me a break. fighting Virgil. <laughs> Man, Randy Savage is taking it too, Virgil. Just laying the smack down with those elbows. Yes. Uh, and now, um, well, they're extravagant outfits matching each other. Uh, Virgil in his uh, prison stripes. No there kidding. The, uh, that makes it even worse. Against the fruity, glittery <laughs> number that, that is that uh, the Macho Man's wearing. I could swear that his pants are like a quilt. Like he took strips from a blanket. Uh, for the sides there. Look at that shit. Yeah, it's quite possible. I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's a really strange choice of attire here. Um, but we've definitely got a lot going on in this match. Yes. Uh, both sides really, or both uh, matchups here really back and forth. Looks like uh, things are slowing down a little bit, though. Never mind. They're right back. Look at this. Face. Virgil. Oh. One. Oh. Just a one count, though. And yeah. barely that. Wow. Kevin Nash like really taking two Virgil there. Randy Savage. Oh, man. Then he came up with nothing. No, he started didn't. going for Jack Swagger, but then he turned his attention to Kevin Nash, who was already falling down. So <laughs> nobody got anything there. There you go. Got to need the back of the kidney area. Sure did. Oh man, and continuing that kidney assault. 
Yes, kidney assaults all around. Uh, both Macho Man on Jack Swagger, and for a moment, the Vir uh, Virgil was taking uh, nice. thing against Kevin Nash. He just uh, slammed him right there. That was a slick move by Virgil. Yeah. Yes, a nice counter. Virgil's a oh, whoa, oh. but he just got just straight up thrown. Yeah, he did. That was unfortunate. Yes, it was. Oh, uh, now Macho Man tossing Jack Swagger back into the ring. He was very briefly out of it. I believe he got tossed out by Randy Savage. Oh, low blow on Macho Man. But he was still able to hit the counter. It's almost like it didn't affect him. Oh, and again. Wow. Wow. And then he got kicked in the midsection. But he didn't fall. I mean, this Macho Man, he has balls of steel. No kidding. He doesn't just have nuts. He has walnuts. Very uh, well protected. Or maybe he has a cup. Uh, that, that would, would be, be good. Yeah. that would be a wise decision here in WFW. We've got a lot of dirty players. No kidding, especially in this match. I mean, we have somebody Ooh, who's clearly been dropped. in prison. Um, yes. But we like he looked like he didn't even like change on his way to this match from like the state pin. Yeah, no kidding. He just took his shirt off. One. Oh, just a one count there. That's right. Looks like we got a suplex coming up from Randy Savage, and he nailed him right there. Yes, yes he did. And now uh, Virgil was going for another cover there. Ooh, Jack Swagger getting a kidney shot on Randy Savage and then running into him. Yeah, that's that's a good strategy. Look at this. this is oh wow, yes. That I think looks Kevin Nash just knocks uh, that dude out. Virgil? Yeah, that yes. guy. Yeah, I'm pulling for him. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Oh my goodness, he hit it. Well, Jack Virgil's Swagger. Virgil's right, right back up. Oh, good for him. Kevin Nash seems to really be in control of this match. Yeah, he's, he's the only one standing right now. Yes, oh, okay, exactly. But not anymore. Now everyone's back up. Everyone's back in the mix. Uh, they just needed a breather, a short little timeout as a moment. Ooh, was that the Jack Swagger to hit Kevin Nash with? Uh, the camera guy wasn't really looking their way. But now Whoa. he's got him in the uh, nothing. Uh, Virgil breaking it up. Yes, great, wing, uh, great ring awareness there. Uh, hitting uh, Macho Man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that oh, DDT. Awesome. Huge done. DDT. I love that. Jack Swagger has been impressive in this match also. Yes, yes, he has. Really, this has been an impressive match all around. Everyone Boom! He just planted him. Quite the power bomb there. But it's Virgil going for the cover and immediately having it broken up. Now Jack Swagger's going for the cover on Kevin Nash. One, two, three. Whoa, Jack Swagger it? got it. Did he? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. I think he might have had it, but he certainly got screwed out of it. Well, Neil, Neil Patrick Harris, as usual, requiring the three and a half count. Ah, uh, yes, of course. I forgot about that. Yeah, he's... He's got some quirks as a referee, but he is nothing if not consistent. Virgil is just nailing Randy Savage. Look yeah, at him go. Yeah, it looked go. like he had a nice little shuffle there. He did. A shot block from Jack Swagger on Covers Kevin Nash. here. Cover. The cover. Will Virgil get him? Yes. Wow. Virgil broke it up. Awesome. Now he is rallying up the crowd. Ooh. Look Jack at this. Oh, the uh -oh. million. The, the, that move. Yes. He nailed him. And now for the pin. Two. Oh, oh able to but kick, it's broken yeah. up. Well, yeah, you're right. I'm not sure he would have been able to kick out. We never know. Yes, it was definitely a close one. <clears throat> Macho Man taking him down. Yeah, he did. Macho Man going to the top rope. Which oh, may this have been is a big mistake. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. Look at was that. that another power bomb it by was. Jack Swagger? Oh, and oh, Randy Savage wow. now. We got a cover here. There's Carnage here. One. Oh, just a one count. Well, Macho yeah. Man going up to the top. He didn't learn his lesson the first time. Who's he going for? I don't know. It's oh, Kevin Nash. Good choice. The elbow on him. Oh, but there's a cover by Jack Swagger. Wait oh, a minute. But, oh, he kicks out one. Oh, oh. ever kick outs all around. Wow. Yes. This is amazing. Yeah, Neil Patrick Harris really has a lot to keep up with in this match. Randy Savage is about to send Kevin Nash. Oh, there's Nash another pin. Oh, yeah, one, look out. Two. Wait a minute. Three. Did he get it? He that got it. it. Wow. Just Jack like Swagger that. Jack Swagger wins, takes Virgil wow. out. Wow. Jack Swagger sneaking in the back door. Nicely done by Swagger there. That was a chaotic match. Yes. It was hard to say who really was the alpha male. I don't really think there was one. I think it was pretty even, surprisingly. Yeah, it was Con a slobber knocker all the way through. Yeah, no kidding. Considering the, you know, the talent in there, Randy Savage, obviously, the by far the biggest name there. Yes. But Jack Swagger, who was like this, not the biggest name there by any means, was is the victor. That's good for him. Well, he's certainly a much bigger name now. Yeah. Uh, he's really on my radar. He was not at all before. Neither of us predicted him to win. No. Oh. Uh, we didn't really have much to say about him at all, in fact. No. Oh. But <laughs> we sure do now. Definitely. A very impressive showing here tonight. Yeah, good for him. I'm proud of him. And, uh, you know, that little unnamed uh, trio may actually get a name pretty soon. Right, if they keep working this well. Yeah, wow, he's like really freaking out.
He can't believe he won. I, well, I don't know. He looks pretty intense. It's like, yeah, you're damn right I did. Good for him. Yes. I just like... <laughs> I just like to get away with you again. Okay. okay. Like. Rick, I just like to get away with you regarding your actions in that match earlier tonight between the Miz and Jinder Mahal. You know something, Elizabeth? I'm sick and tired of everyone running around in this business ripping me off. And of all the blatant ripoffs we've got in WFW, the Miz is the absolute worst. He wants to tarnish my legacy by using the figure four in his matches? Uh-uh. That ain't gonna fly. Now that evolution is riding high again, I'm not taking any more of that crap. But tonight I got thwarted by another dime a dozen muscle-headed punk in Brock Lesnar. Lesnar, you're starting a war that you don't want any part of. Ric Flair and Evolution run this place, and as far as we're concerned, you're next on the hit list, son. Woo. Oh man, that's gonna create some problems for Brock Lesnar. Sure will. All right, and so we've got a rematch that's been a long time coming here tonight. Big E Langston, Yokozuna, a throwback to the first episode of Scorch. Now that is excitement personified right here. Look at this, look at Big E, he can barely contain himself. Yes, he is just so damn happy, he's got a bow. Um, oh, I think that was like a big diss to Yokozuna. Yeah, what a Holy racist, this Big E. That was awesome. Huh. Oh my god. Tonight, Big E Lyson will rid American of the slit-eyed, yellow-skinned invaders. I will take the fat, overweight, disgusting Yokozuna lift him onto my broad toned shoulders and plant him into the ground where he belongs. Waity, you're not trying to make this an international incident, are you? I mean, at this rate, you could be the Republican nominee for president. But these people are ready to experience the power of the New Day administration, are you? Maybe they are. We are in the South, after all. Great, so let's do it. I'm running for president. Vote New Day! I know I will. <laughs> and here comes Yokozuna, who will, uh... Well, I guess Big E should be glad he didn't see oh, that foul there. Oh, he probably did, honestly. <laughs> he looks like he's coming down to the ring with much more speed than normal, and that is not saying much. But he is, he is yes. definitely, like, tromping his way down here. He's got, he's got Mr. Fuji. Yeah, he's got Mr. Fuji with the Japanese flag. That's what it looks like, in case you didn't know. At home. Yes. Uh, Donald Schools uh, as good looking as the American flag, in my opinion. But it's, it's pretty cool. The rising sun is pretty sweet. Yeah. And there's, uh, as Sway Dragon said, the big checkered board Yokozuna. Yes. Looking, uh, looking, looking proud coming down here tonight. It's very solemn. Um, you know, it's odd that these two requested a rematch after so long. They had enough time for this to stew. Maybe there was some backstage drama going on. I know Big E and Mr. Fuji are not really big fans of each other, so there's probably been a lot of shit talked between the two. Well, definitely. You know, Big E says that Yokozuna couldn't get the job done on his own, and he has to have Mr. Fuji here, although that is sort of the pot calling the cut. And here we go. One thing that you gotta understand between these guys uh, is Yokozuna is actually very near the top of the mid card here. Uh, former WWE champion, he's actually you know has holds a victory over guys like Bret Hart. You know, huh. Think about that. Uh, Hulk Hogan, even. and uh, Yokozuna is no pushover. He was the, he did get the upper hand against Big E in the Greatest of All Time Tournament, on, like you said on the debut episode of Scorch. So we'll see if Big E can turn it around right here. Oh, Ooh. shades of Andre the Giant on that one. Yes. Well, Yokozuna does have quite the impressive resume. It would be a big deal for Big E to beat him, but this is a fairly low-stakes match. Um, Big E is already out of the greatest of all time tournament. Well, it, wow, look at that strength, that power lifter background of uh, Big E coming into play. Yes, yeah, just and tossing Yokozuna. This, yeah, this isn't like greatest of all time big, but it could, you know, the winner of this match could end up uh, becoming 
the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship down the road, or, you know, very close to it anyway. I mean, they could just have, like, maybe one or two wins away from being the number one contender. So I wouldn't say that it's completely low stakes. This is definitely has, uh, Big E definitely has something to gain here, and Yokozuna has a spot to lose. Yes. Uh, there are never any matches in WFW without some sort of uh, significance, some sort of uh, position on the line. Yeah. And this match is no exception. Uh, you've always got to keep Ted DiBiase on his toes. He is, uh, he is a champion who is always ready for a matchup, but there are new competitors coming up all along, and both of these men hope to be one of them. Yeah, definitely. And uh, Ted DiBiase, like we said earlier in the night, I don't know what Yokozuna was doing there, just kind of chill. Uh, but, yeah, but uh, he probably needs him. <laughs> yeah, he's a big guy. Yeah, no kidding. He's probably the biggest man that's ever been in the WWE as far as like size and weight. Maybe Andre. As far as circumference. Oh, yeah, definitely as far as circumference. Although uh, that, what was Rikishi that guy? also had a very Rikishi, big Rikishi, yeah. He, the Joker is definitely bigger than him, but there was this guy, Big Daddy V. Viscera. Yeah. That guy. Oh, yeah. He dude. was pretty big. Yeah, that, was a, that was a very blueberry-like individual. Yeah, he was large and in charge. And Yokozuna is in charge right now. Just chopping down Big E Langston. Yeah, it's really taking it to him. But Big E with that Russian leg sweep. That's a move that turns things around a lot. Yeah, it is. Oh, man, just punched him right in the face. Yes, Many times. several times. Oh. A lot of right hands. And uh, that power slam countered. Nice. Ooh, into a backbreaker. Yeah, you know, it's it, think about how difficult drop. it would be to just pick up Yokozuna. Oh, oh, no. That's the kind of thing you want to avoid when yeah, you're fighting Yokozuna. He could have just crushed his whole rib cage. If Big but e, it looks it, like Big E has continued on. Well, Big E's got a right to the face. He's, got a, he's a big guy. He's used to, well, I mean, he's not used to that. Nobody's used to that. But he can, he can, can his body can probably handle it. Imagine if he would have done that to, like, Justin Gabriel or something. I think he would be dead. I think yes. he'd be as flat as a pancake. Yes, anyone without that power lifter background of Big E uh, would have a much harder time handling Yokozuna's size. Even the leg like that, that's going to take its toll. Right. Big E may need to go for like a low blow or something. This is, <laughs> this is not going well for him in the early going of this one. Yeah, he's going to need to go for something here, something, uh, something a bit more radical than he's been trying so far. He's going to have to change up his strategy. Definitely. Now Yokozuna is throwing him into the corner. Uh-oh. He's going to just... Ooh, oh! oh! Biggie. But Biggie gets out of the way. Nicely done. He, yes, he, didn't really hurt Yokozuna in the oh. process, though. He's still going strong. What the hell? He's going up oh to the top Oh, my rope. God. Don't do Jumping. this. Oh, and that Biggie was a big mistake. I don't know what Yokozuna was thinking. Well... What was he thinking? He knew he had a big lead, wanted to make it bigger, and uh, unfortunately it uh, didn't work out for him. No kidding. Looks like he's uh, taking a ride here. Yeah, it's got tossed to the outside. Oh, but and brought, brought back right in. back in. Big E trying to capitalize on Yokozuna's big blunder. What a mistake! And Big E's now in control. Yes. And uh, but that may not be that may not last long. Yokozuna's back to his feet, and he's got Big E on the apron. Oh, Ooh. and he put him into our announce table, but, sponsored by IKEA. Yeah, it didn't break. Oh, God, that big leg drop again. No, no, not on the oh. concrete. Oh, my goodness. Ah. Talk about being a just, rock in a hard place. They're on him around. This is, this is, he, Yokozuna is definitely back in control. Yes, he sure is. Uh, it did not take him long either. Well. From behind. And good oh. Lord. Holy crap, just folded him up. Yeah, so Mr. Fuji taunting Big E as he is laid out there on the concrete. Yokozuna's kind of they're not happy. Yokozuna, I think, was just kind of surprised at how quickly Big E was able to get him. But look at that. The wind's a change. Blowing all over this match. Wow, yeah, big collision oh. there. And a nice STO, though, from uh, Big E. Yes. You know, you said the winds of change are blowing, but at the rate things are going, Yokozuna is still looking like he is uh, on track to win this match, which oh, would yeah. not be a change of events at all. Well, yeah, you're right. It's just that, oh, that move is called the winds of change. Oh. I, when well, when sorry Wade, to show my anger. When Wade Barrett does it, you know. ah. uh, I don't know what Yokozuna calls it. Probably something in Japanese, which none of us would understand. Uh, okay, <laughs> here we go. Man, look at that. There's that uh, Russian leg sweep you were talking about. I uh, see there's some movement on the outside from Mr. Fuji. Yes. And that ridiculous robe. I guess he's kind of like the master Yoda of the uh, WFW. I suppose so. I bet he's, uh, I, bet's, uh, I bet that's the most comfortable outfit here in WFW. Yeah, I would suggest that it is. Although Yokozuna looks pretty comfy also. Yes. In the world of tights, it's always nice to be the man wearing pants. I don't think I'd be able to hold up that outfit with if I was just sitting in one of the legs. 
Like, <laughs> I still don't think I could fill that out. I know I could. Yeah, definitely not you. Here we go. Look at that big throw. Oh, Holy crap. Wow. He almost Tossing threw him. All the way across the ring. Oh, and the big sit again. This is, this is getting wow. ridiculous. Yeah, this. <laughs> Yokozuna is still, he just, he just got it. He just has to throw his weight around, basically. Essentially. And they just poked him in the eye for good measure. Yep, Neil Patrick Harris letting it slide completely. Looked right at him as he did. <laughs> yeah, he just does not care. Not which our bit. truth is not happy about. Oh, this is, this yes, is a both, both of the, match. Yes. Both of the managers have been uh, pretty uninvolved in this one. That's a change from our usual pace. Oh, Ouch. that one's a change. Yeah, they haven't really done anything, which is good. Yeah, they're much more fair. Trying to be uh, show encouragement, I guess, with their presence. Yes. Yoko Zuna has really shown some some speed here. I mean, it's not the, oh, big Yes. Oh, God. Uh, which is not really what he's known for, you know, as we know. But he is uh, he is pretty athletic for, I guess, a 600-pound guy. Yes. Oh, man, you he's don't got want to make the, the mistake of uh, underestimating him. He's got him, Big E in the Cobra Clutch. Big E is tapping out. But, but our truth Harris was distracted. Yeah, which Yokozuna is not going to be happy about. He's going out there after our truth Yep, so much for the managers being uh, being inconsequential. Yeah. And he is about to get put what through in the, the barricade. World? Oh, oh my and R-Truth is making an involuntary trip into the crowd. <laughs> That's what Yokozuna says about getting involved in his match. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was pretty awesome. Yokozuna is a large man. He sure is. And that was a large move there. Oh, but oh. he ran right into an STO from Big E. Yes, he did. Um, and uh, R-Truth's loss may be Big E's gain here. Somehow R-Truth is already up. Yes, That's and he's a... making a gesture. Did he just flip off Yokozuna? Him? Well, he's regretting it now. Yeah. Oh, but he kicked him in the face. Oh, man. Big E taking advantage now of Now the numbers again. game catching up with Yokozuna, and Neil Patrick Harris doesn't give a damn. No, he does not. He's Ooh, just that might have been a low kick right there. We'll, we'll never know. Quite possibly. The camera angle was not... Uh, On fleek. Yes. Ooh, man, nice elbow to the face. Lots of strikes Counters. being thrown here. Yes. Oh, my. Good Lord. Well, I don't know what he's going to do from up there. Just oh. put him down, apparently. Yes. Well, that was uh, generous. I guess he really took pity on him. Or maybe he realized how heavy Yoko was yeah. once he got him up there. <laughs> Good. Wow. All right, Yoko Zuna. Taking the steps the up, not what we usually see. <laughs> and he just ran out into a, a into headlock. A headlock there, but, but he counted out of it. Yeah, not, hard, not easy to hold a headlock on Yoko Zuna. Not at all. He's got a lot of neck. And, uh, well, boom. Now he's uh, just got a face full of mat. You know, Biggie, to his credit, I mean, he's had a lot of trouble in this match, but he's stayed in it. Now he's got him in the Cobra Clutch. Yes. Oh, but an immediate rope break, and Mr. Fuji had Neil Patrick Harris distracted anyway. Yeah, so do I I think Big E is pretty tired. I mean, he has been sat on, leg dropped, put out. Thrown out of the ring. He's gone and through now, hell, quite frankly. And now here he is in the cold clutch. This may be it. Our truth's going to have to do something Almost quick. Almost certainly. Oh, but no, but he doesn't. He didn't want to get put through the barricade again. Good point. I guess Yokozuna made his point. He certainly made his point against the New Day this evening. It's another victory for Yokozuna. It sure is. And uh, I'm no expert, but I'm betting Big E won't ask for a third match. I think you're right. I think that was the definitive victory in this show. Two off rivalry that really had no development other than their matches. Yes, but you know sometimes that's how it goes in WFW. Uh, people settle their grudges with just more fighting. That makes and sense. And then uh, if you lose twice, then uh, you don't really come back for thirds. Usually. Yeah, just ask Alberto Del Rio. Yes, exactly. Maybe Big E will challenge him next. They both know what losing uh, multiple times to the same opponent is like. Ouch. Well, I guess that's true. Regardless, it's a nice victory for Yokozuna considering his run of dominance. Yokozuna undefeated in WFW so far. Granted, yeah, his only true. granted his only opponent has been Big E, so it'll be interesting to see what happens when he goes up against a different opponent. Yes, as we know, Yokozuna had already earned his spot in the greatest of all time tournament. Um, I'm not sure who he will be facing, but I'm sure that will be a great match. Another, it'll be an opportunity for Yokozuna to uh, really present his skills against someone that is not Big E. Damn, I'm never going to get any respect at this rate. Hey, Virgil. What's going on, man? I saw what happened out there tonight. That was some shit, man. I should have won that thing, but I couldn't keep control. You're right. What you need is some control. 
You need somebody to have your back. What you need, Virgil, is me. Oh. Look around. Everybody who's anybody is a part of some overblown, overrated faction. And where does that leave guys like you and me? It leaves us with nothing but the scraps. I don't know about you, but I'm sick of settling with scraps. I want the main course. So what say you and I team up, work together to get ahead? I could use a guy like you to help me get to the top. Shit, man. Top sure sounds better than the dumpster I'm used to. Got yourself a deal. Huh. Oh, man, a deal with the devil right here. All right, that's what I like to hear. Stick with me, man, and we'll go places. <clears throat> and here comes the first match of the real greatest of all time. That's right. It's been a match. Uh, we, we've been catching up tonight, you know, uh, trying to uh, catch up after our week that we missed last week. Yeah. Uh, and now, of course, with our seven-match schedule, with only one uh, show a week, we have to do two baseball time tournament matches each week. But uh, So we had four this week. And this is, as Tree Chung Chan said, the beginning of the actual round one of the greatest of all time tournament. This is really exciting. Uh, and you can see that the, uh, I guess, the quality of competition is taking a big increase with Big Show versus Edge. I mean, this is a match that has uh, headline pay per views. Yes, and uh, I'm certainly looking forward to it now. Uh, especially, you know, we, we've had a night of great matches, but they have not been with the highest named individuals, uh, with the exception of perhaps Randy Savage. Uh, we lost. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so who knows? Maybe Jack Swagger will be a big name soon. But yeah, so, and Yokozuna. I mean, I don't know why you uh, why you hate. Why you hate. Very true. Uh, Yokozuna is just not much of a character. And the New Day. They are characters. Although I don't think the New Day have won a match since the beginning of WFW. That's they really, should fight the gutter bunch. That's really, yeah, surely they could take them. Somebody would lose their. Somebody book that shirt. match. And here comes the former world heavyweight champion Edge. Yeah. Well. Big Show is also a fun little champion, to be fair, but it was well, definitely... the most recent. Yeah, it was definitely a while ago, and uh, probably not going to happen again anytime soon. Unless he really gets on a roll here and beats Edge. That This is a pretty awesome match, and we don't know for sure who's going to win. This, you know, could be either one. We have no idea. I mean, Big Show has such strength, but Edge has the beautiful lead-up with it. Uh, so put aside his competitive spirit and his strength. Uh, he's got the moral support in his corner to really get shit done. Yeah, that's true. Um, but I can say that um, it's it, what's it. One, one thing that is interesting about this match is obviously Big Show had to win his way here. Edge yeah. was already guaranteed. Whenever this championship or whenever this uh, tournament was created, Edge was the world champion. He's the top guy, yeah. and he's not far from that now, quite frankly. But uh, Edge is actually technically on a losing streak. He didn't lose to Chris Jericho, so it's an interesting dynamic. All right. Uh oh. Uh oh, bro. The gutter bust. Oh, does he really want to have anything to do with the big show again? I'm not sure why he bought a ticket. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. He was he, already here. Yeah, no kidding. What <laughs> a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's because, you know, Sway Dragon is the manager of the wrestlers, and he just he dislikes Bros Clay so much that after his segment, he just makes him leave. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Brodus Clay had to get a ticket to come back and intimidate the Big Show. Uh, we're well, assuming. Well, try to intimidate the yeah, Big Show. Yeah, I don't think Big Show could give, gives a fuck about Brodus Clay. Actually, I, if I was a Big Show, I'd be actually kind of happy that Brodus Clay was in, wanted to get involved with him because it really did give Big Show an opportunity to really get on a roll. Oh, yeah. man, that was an awesome move by it. It sure was. And you know, Brodus Clay... As ridiculous as he is, he has been on every single edition of WFW. I gotta since be that honest. Start. I gotta be honest. I love Brodus Clay. He's one of my favorite people every week. <laughs> because he is such a card. I mean, we just saw it. He, you know, he may actually just be here because he loves watching WFW so and much. We, and like you said, we love him too. Yes. The Sway Dragon does not, though. He makes him leave no. every single week. But where's the respect, Sway Dragon? I mean, yeah, no Brodus Clay is oh, awesome. Oh, belly to belly, next to the table, yeah. not through it. Thankfully. Questionable decision by Big Show. Yeah, Big Show is sitting edge back in. Both of these guys are fired out. This is Big Show's first, like, actual competitive, Challenge. Yeah, competitive match uh, since WFW began, and it's Edge's chance to, you know, not get his ass kicked in the ring. Right, he really needs to redeem himself. All Edge has done in WFW Oh, what in the world? That was ridiculous strength by Edge right there. Yeah, his back's gotta be sore after that Holy one. Holy crap, but anyway, to your point. Um, 
he got beaten up by Evolution uh, during the first week, and then he lost his title defense, and that's all he's done in the ring here. You know, Edge, he really needs to get his head in the game because, uh, yes. I mean, I love Edge. Wow, he's really, he's really been working out. Strong. Yeah, he's definitely been in the gym. Look at this. He is throwing the big show around like a rag doll. Yes. Edge is making, dominating here. He's tearing up equipment. Yes, just making nothing of the big show like he's – like he's not even bigger than him. Oh, but there's the the WFW shoulder yeah. charge making its uh, big return here again. Formerly relegated to overgrowth, but now uh, here in all of WFW. Yes. Whoa! He just Spiked DDT'd it. the fuck out of the Big Show. Big Show's really uh, he's really taking a beating this match. Edge is really taking it to him, and he may have just broken his arm. Oh man, another, DDT. another DDT! Very fluid motion. Yes. Edge, very agile. Uh, he He's a really, you know, a great combination of strength and agility here. No he can not only outmaneuver the big show, but as we've seen, he can pick him up. He can slam him. He uh, he is one of the most formidable opponents the big show could have as far as strength is concerned. Yeah, these guys have a rich history. Big show's won some. Edge has won some. The World Heavyweight Championship was once decided at WrestleMania between these two and John Cena, who won. But huh. anyway, that's the hero there. Uh, <laughs> Edge with a, uh, got hit with a belly to belly from the big show. Yes. But Edge is right back on his feet. Yeah, he's that. staying he's in the big show for another ride. Oh, my goodness. That was amazing. Neil Patrick Harris is not impressed. He's just like, yeah, okay. Nothing <laughs> impresses Neil Patrick Harris. He is from another dimension where the wrestlers, uh, they, they're barely even comprehensible by human senses. And Tree so. Trunk Sean really need, it would be great if you would uh, plug my computer so it didn't die on us. Uh, breaking the fourth wall here. It's over, the cord's uh, right over there on the wall. So there you go. I will take over the commentating duties. Edge really uh, getting thrown around by the big show. Pretty evenly matched, but Edge has just been so impressive that you got to be, he's got to have the advantage right now because I don't think the big show was ready to be thrown around by Edge like he has been. Yeah, big show from behind now, but Edge with the reversal, staying. I'm sure he wasn't control. ready for a slow burn. Um, now he's taking several strikes from Edge. Yes. Bobby the Brain Heenan on the outside. This is the first time, to my knowledge and history, that he has ever managed the Big Show. But the Big Show now aligned with Andre the Giants, we saw. Definitely the biggest tag team of all time. And uh, they, I guess, share Bobby the Brain Heenan now. That's good for a Big Show. Yes. Kind of evens the, evens the playing field since Edge has Lita. Right. Um, but you know, quite frankly, I'm a little more afraid of Lita than I ever would be of oh, Bobby yeah. the Brain. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty, uh, no doubt that Lita could kick Bobby the Brain hand's ass. I think uh, that, that is for sure. I'd certainly rather look at her. Yeah, I agree with that also. And Edge making Big Show look at the bottom of the, or the top of the mat right there. Yeah. The spike in his head and sending it over again. And Big Show has just been unable to get out of the, the starting here. Yes, he's really in a rut here in this matchup. Edge is just making a fool of him, quite frankly. Um, maybe not quite that bad, but it is, uh, it is a bit of a squash at this point. Oh, but he countered there. Played possum and, uh, took Edge out of the ring. Now, uh, we're gonna have some more action on the outside. Big Show's got Edge's arm. And sending him back in already. Well, huh. Big Show okay. definitely does not want this match to be any more exciting than it is. Right. Oh, but he did just he kick the, the hell out of Edge right there. He sure did. Doing some damage on the apron. What? Uh-oh. Big Show has gone over to Brodus Clay. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, Brodus Clay hit it. Brodus Clay Brodus just Clay knocked out the Big, Big Show. Big Show right in the face and leaving. Oh, my God. Brodus Clay always trying to stick his nose into places it doesn't belong. Yes. And I guess he really wants that rivalry to continue. He wants to be part uh -oh. of something. Oh, my oh, God. Bobby it just the took brain. out Bobby the Brain. Wrong place, wrong <laughs> oh, time, Bobby. Man. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Edge oh. following up on that. Oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> wow, that was that was brutal. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Bobby the Brain wearing out his arms like he's going to actually get in there. Yeah. Here we go. Look at this. Oh. He might as well be because Edge is taking it to him. It was like a reverse bulldog. Edge is just, just destroying everyone. Edge has gone crazy here. Yeah, hit the neck breaker on Big Oh, Shot. no. And he also Look at this. That. Bobby the Brain. Oh. Nice move there. Yes. <laughs> about time he did some to Edge. He was uh, taking quite the beating there. No Edge way. No way. Oh, wow, my nice. God. Wow. That, that is a nice amazing. vertical on that suplex. Yeah, that was incredible. Incredible. Wait, and what is Edge doing here? He's attacking Bobby the Brain. But look at this. Oh, counter. Face oh. first. Oh, my gosh. Bobby the Brain and Big Show's loving it. 
Yeah, he sure is. Looks like he wants to go for a choke slam, but it also uh -oh. looks like oh. execution. Oh. That could be it. Oh, as he's taking him up. Look at this. And now we go. Rolling roll up. up. One. Nope. Oh, just a one count. Yep. Over the brain up there on the apron. Wow, it looks like. Oh my what? god! Oh. He just speared the hell out of the wow. Big Show, and he Big kicked, Show out. kicked out almost immediately. <laughs> that was like a pop-up spear. <laughs> that was insane. And it sure was. So that was one for the freaking highlight reel right there. That was one of the coolest spears I've ever seen. As you said, like the pop-up spear. Yes. Wow, that was killer. Oh, oh man! Now taking Big Show for a ride, landing him face first. Ooh! I got him boot to the face. God, Big Show's. But it's like as big as edges. Roll up. Oh, One. yeah. Oh. Big Show's staying in it. Yes, he sure is. It's surprising. He is truly a resilient opponent. Yeah, more durable. He's like a tank in there. It's going to take a lot of offense to take him down. Yes, it sure is. As uh, Edge has already shown, I mean, what more can you throw at him? Well, the spear. Another one, yeah. Yeah, I mean, what else can you do it's, except for just... Uh, Keep going back to that well until I mean I I can't believe that Big Show kicked out of that as fast as he did. That was that's got to be disheartening for Edge. Yeah, I agree. I mean, that that was, really ruined the morale. That was one of the best spheres I've ever seen. Yes, it was. It was damn impressive. Yeah, and the fact that he was even able to throw Big Show in the air at all. Whoa, Bobby the Brain Heenan is like I just down. Oh my gosh! Oh. And there's a DDT on Bobby the Brain Heenan. He's gonna stay down. And, and a bulldog. A bulldog. God, he's gonna and kill him. DDT. <laughs> Bobby the Brain should probably leave. <laughs> if Neil Patrick Harris were to eject him, it would be a out of blessing. Mercy. Yes. yes. Seriously. Oh my God. Lita and Neil Patrick Harris having words. With yeah, they are not getting along. Not at all. Oh, Edge taking uh, Edge uh, has show. got the Big Show's arm. A bloody Big Show, too. Like you said, he is definitely busted open. Yes. I'm not sure when that happened, but it definitely did. Uh, during the uh, execution. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Must have been a hell of an impact. Oh, yeah. Edge is kind of getting... He's got to be worn out, though, by this point in the match. I mean, he's... Big Show's really kind of... Big Show's kind of been given in the rope-a-dope. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I mean, Big Show has taken everything that Edge could throw at him, and Edge was throwing everything high-octane, full throttle. And there's only so much you can go, especially against a guy like the Big Show. I mean, imagine throwing the Big Show around like Edge has been in this match. It's going to catch up with you eventually. Yes. And uh, Edge also, I believe, wasted some energy attacking Bobby the Brain. Yeah, you got a point. Oh, Bobby the Brain distracting Neil Patrick Harris. Will Big Show tap? Uh, either way, it'll be inconsequential because, oh, wait. And he's out of that full Nelson. And Bobby the Brain is out of here. Neil Patrick Harris finally ejected him. Yes. Although he really hasn't done anything in this match except for get his ass kicked. So. Right. <laughs> so Neil Patrick Harris just thought he should take the night off. Yeah. Uh, nicely done, Neil Patrick Harris. Um, we appreciate that. And I'm sure Bobby Brain does too. And he no longer feels obligated to help the Big Show. And, and frankly, we're, I'm not even sure if the Big Show needs it. Yeah, I mean, he's holding his own. He's really turning this match around. Uh, seems to be in control at the moment. Uh, heading into the strike there, and now he's behind him. But Edge Reverse is taking Big Show down. And now punching him in the face. Stuff like that is not helping. Uh, oh, man. Edge thinking spear. Edge thinking spear, but Big Show Big cutting Show. him off. Wisely done. Put Big Show in the corner. Oh, oh. man. Edge now fired up. There. Uh oh. And now, boom. Oh, face first into the mat yet again. We, we saw the screen was changing colors. So that's when you know thing, shit is getting real. Yes. When the light in the world around us changes, we know that the dimension of uh, Fired Up has been arrived at. Oh, no, not again. Oh! oh my spear. God. The new Edge special, apparently. It's over. I mean, come on. Neil Patrick Harris was still unfazed. Two, it's three. Over. What? Wait. Oh, my no. God. What in the world? The three and a half count strikes again. Oh, my goodness. Edge. What is he going to have to do to beat the, to beat the Big Show? I don't know. Big Show is taking two spears. He's been bleeding for like five minutes now. Oh, at least. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. This is exhausting just watching. Imagine if what our edge feels at this point. Yes, no kidding. This has to be really disheartening. Um, and he's wondering if his life in the Greatest of All Time tournament is going to be a long one at this point. Yeah. Big Show turning him around. Uh-oh, choke slam time. DDT! Oh, yes. That was one killer. One of the biggest DDTs we've ever that seen. That was awesome. He's going for the pin now. One. Oh, just man. a one count. Again. Oh, no. Man. Is Edge thinking? Is Edge thinking it again? Yes, he is. Oh, Boom! Three. 
nailed him. Spears. One, two, two three. three. Edge. He was for damn sure beating the Big Show tonight, and he saw to it with three pop-up spears. Yes. Uh, I guess that's going to be a new regular part of his arsenal. He's got the pop-up down, and uh, he's going to keep it around. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty. It's pretty awesome variation of, I mean, come on. You can see his head bounce off of the Yes. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. That is. That was what changed everything right there. If he would have hit with that the choke slam, this may have been a very different outcome. Right. It could have been over right then. Right. I, well, and it damn near was, actually. But. Oh, look at this. Oh. Wow. Very respectful yeah. uh, competitors here. Well, there you go. I mean, it was a hell of a match. Edge giving Big Show credit. That, that's nice to see here in WFW. Yes. Edge knows that, uh, you know, he had a hard time putting him down. Took three spears, and he respects the Big Show for that. Oh what? God, Layla! Wait a minute. That's that's Layla down there. She's she's out. And that guy's copping a feel. Jeez. What? Well, I wonder what's happening. That cameraman's not even helping. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the main event. And here's Chris Jericho, the defending champion, waiting to come out in all his uh, fancy uh, pomp and circumstance. Definitely, big Chris Jericho making his weight as always. Gotta turn out the lights so we can get the full effect of his light-up jacket. Yes, he there loves he that light-up jacket. He bought it in 1985 and refuses to get rid of it. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure that uh, I'm sure that as a kid he liked the light-up shoes that uh, light up when you run. I'm not sure if those were around when he was a kid, but I bet he got them for his kids. And hey, there's oh. huh. whoa, that's interesting. Uh, Chris Jericho doesn't look surprised by his presence or at least he's uh, no selling it or maybe he just doesn't give a fuck uh, Chris Jericho yeah. is going in the ring to do what he does and that's win and obviously judging from the fact that he has two championships although he's only didn't bother bringing the world championship with him tonight uh, for this match anyway yes. some other order. but uh, Chris Jericho judging from the fact that he has two championships he knows what it's like to win and uh, there's no there's no debating that whether you like the man or not yes he sure does um, I'm still interested in Mick Foley's presence there. Uh, he was teamed with Shawn Michaels recently, and that was after Shawn Michaels had betrayed him. Uh, I guess Mick Foley's showing uh, that he and Shawn Michaels are not partners. Well, we don't really know that he's here against Shawn Michaels or for Chris Jericho. He's just definitely here. Um, I guess, you know, I'm obviously Mick Foley would love to be in contention for the uh, World Heavyweight Championship. He's definitely not going to be in contention for the Fuji but not anytime soon. Uh, but he could uh, certainly be in contention for the world championship uh, someday down the road. Obviously still the hardcore champion. Yes. Uh, he's defended that very well thus far in WFW. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely he's defended it more than anybody else with their championships and uh, has shows no signs of stopping anytime soon. Yes. Uh, well, the heartbreak kid, he is unfazed, whether it be Mick Foley with him, uh, whether it be the whole WFW roster out there in Chris Jericho's corner. He's going to be focused on the match. And he definitely has his ace in the hole, Triple H, waiting for him down. Uh, I guess he's already come down to the ring. But yes. uh, Triple H here in support of Shawn Michaels, D-Generation X riding high. And that rivalry between DX and Evolution is only going to ramp up even further now that they're on the same show. Right. They had a hell of a match on our last edition of Overgrowth. Uh, that actually ended in a draw because it was so long. Uh, we're hoping they'll be able to uh, to bring matches of the same caliber here in the future. And in fact, we know they will. Yeah, next week we are going to have the rematch between those two teams in some sort of gimmick match. We've not decided, uh, or it has not been decided, who uh, what kind of match it's going to be. But it will be uh, some sort of special rules, and it's going to be an awesome match next week. But right now, it's the main event of SummerSlam, and it's next. Patrick Harris showing everyone the title. As if they didn't know, but yes. like I know that you like the uh, you like the pomp and circumstance of the of the championship. I I dig it myself. Chris Jericho and Shawn Michaels. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, nice. Starting things yeah, off. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be good. Technical. It's gonna be good. I'll tell you right now, this is gonna be an awesome match. These guys have stolen the show anytime. They were up against each other. They had that incredible rivalry in 2008. They stole the show at WrestleMania 19, Shawn Michaels' first WrestleMania since coming back from his injury. And uh, I guarantee you, they are going to be stealing this show here tonight. 
Yes, that's why we put him in the main event because, I mean, you got the showstopper. You got one of the only, if not the only, undisputed champions in history in Chris Jericho. Uh, we've got, I mean, tons of accolades for both of these men. And uh, so they absolutely belong here fighting for this cruiserweight belt. Not to mention we got Triple H on the outside, Mick Foley, big names in themselves. I wish you could be here, ladies and gentlemen. The atmosphere is intense. Yes, we got enough stars here by the ring to form a constellation. Look at this, Shawn Michaels now, coming up and hit him with a neck breaker big time, nicely done. I mean, uh, obviously the Cruiserweight Championship, I guess, not quite as uh, prestigious as the World Heavyweight Championship. Only though because uh, not everybody can compete for the Cruiserweight Championship. I mean, that's relegated to a select few. Although, yes. as we can see here, it's rel still relegated to the best. I mean, Shawn Michaels and Chris Jericho, I don't think anybody would doubt, are the top two guys in the business today. Yes, Shawn Michaels uh, had one of the most dominant world championship reigns ever. Um, Chris Jericho, the one who beat Edge, who beat Shawn Michaels and ended that historic reign. Yeah, I mean, and Chris Jericho beat Edge uh, after Edge had not successfully defended the championship. Could that be the same for Chris Jericho? He has at least successfully defended the Cruiserweight Championship when he beat Seth Rollins a month ago. And that was impressive all its own. Uh, it gave Jericho the, the hot head, the momentum he needed to go on to that world championship match. Yeah, we haven't seen Chris or, uh, Seth Rollins in action uh, since. Although we did see him backstage talking to Virgil earlier. I don't know what's going to come of that. Yeah, me neither. It's interesting. But tonight, this match is not about Virgil. No disrespect to that young man. This is about the two best in the business going at it. This is awesome. Yes, it sure is. Um, and now... Uh, no one really taking control. Oh, no. Definitely nobody in control. It's way too early for these two guys to uh, to really fill each other out. Oh, man. Yes, yeah, just a, a step wow, back and amazing. forth. Wow, amazing. What a sequence. But it's still Chris Jericho kept the upper hand. Yes. Um, these men, it's just so back and forth. Counters everywhere. Nobody. there. When you're this good, you not only know what to do to destroy your opponent, but you know what your opponent is thinking. Right. These two are in each other's heads, and so they're always kind of one step ahead of one another, which puts them one step behind at the same time. And so it's gonna be a steady back and forth through this whole match. Right, and uh, these guys in particular are essentially mirror images of each other. They have like mirror images of their, of their skill set. They are very similar in the ring, almost identical. Uh, yes. They have uh, mirror images as far as their career paths go. The only difference is Chris Jericho is on top right now, so he has some momentum on his side by, uh, by a little bit. He definitely has the gold, the champion's advantage, whereas Shawn Michaels has the experience, even though Chris Jericho is far from a rookie, obviously. But Shawn Michaels has been doing this for a long time. Chris Jericho watched Shawn Michaels growing up, hoping that he could be like him someday and look where he is now. Yep duking it out with one of his idols. And uh, you know, Shawn Michaels has a lot to prove. He was a huge champion before WFW bought out WWE uh, and had several titles, but this is an entirely different stage and he would like to climb his way up back to having five, six, all the belts. Yeah. <laughs> I know, that was ridiculous. I mean, he was so clearly the best in uh, WWE that he, had al he literally had almost every championship in the country. Yes. He even won the Divas title for a while. No. Don't ask us how that happened. <laughs> but he was... The only championship he did not have was the European title, which he's obviously had in the past. He is yes. definitely the greatest champion of all time. Uh, no doubt about that. Some would argue... Chris Jericho is uh, hoping to take that from him. Yeah, definitely. He has been a great champion also in the past and right now. Two yes. championship belts. The only man in the WWE to hold two championship belts except for Ted DiBiase. And uh, I don't One know. One of his is boxed. Yeah, so. I don't know how high you hold the million dollar championship on your uh, list of prestigious titles. Yes. But uh, we suspected Alberto Del Rio was going to challenge him uh, challenge him for it before he you know, had two embarrassing losses in a row. Yeah, I don't know if he ought to go for that at this, at this juncture. Yeah. Ooh, but Chris Jericho, that was a nice takedown on Shawn Michaels. It was like a reverse bulldog kind of. Yeah, and there it is oh, again, yep. in case you didn't, uh, in case you didn't see it the first time. All right. Kind of like an instant replay. Yeah. The one that uh, Shawn Michaels certainly was not a big fan of. There, uh, Shawn Michaels taking a big elbow to the face and a kick to the back. Yeah. 
Chris Jericho has been uh, kind of disrespecting Shawn Michaels in this match so far with those kicks. Well, Chris Jericho, he doesn't respect anybody but himself. No. And uh, I don't think that anybody is fooled otherwise. And we all know where Chris Jericho stands. These fans know where Chris Jericho stands. Triple H knows where Chris Jericho stands, as does Mick Foley, as does Shawn Michaels, as does Evolution, as does Seth Rollins. All the top names in WWE, uh, or WFW rather, are, uh, they have a bone to pick with Chris Jericho. Except for Neil Patrick Harris, who is an unfeeling human and knows nothing of Chris Jericho's confidence. Yeah, I guess that's true. Patrick Harris and Chris Jericho actually are pretty similar. Uh, the way they look, Chris Jericho going for a side-by-side -side comparison there. There is a little uh, <laughs> bit of a resemblance. Chris Jericho wanted to show the fans that, but unfortunately our production guy was not on the scene for it. Yeah, and Nick Patrick Harris clearly did not want to stand next to Chris Jericho. He was like, get me the hell away from this man. Yes, ever since he got hit with that guitar, he's been a lot more careful. Yeah, that's understandable. Though. I mean, it's not every day that you get a guitar smashed over your head. It's the wow. kind of thing you remember, just like that Instagram. Yeah, he's going to be remembering that. No doubt. Well, things have... Oh, never mind. I was going to say things have slowed down here a bit as these men are starting to tire some. Uh -oh. But, oh, walls, walls of, Jericho of Jericho already. Here we go. Shawn Michaels could be in big trouble. Triple H distracting Neil on. Patrick Harris. He sure is. But we don't know that Shawn Michaels is going to tap anyway. No, uh, bad Chris back Jericho, of Jericho releases it. Yeah, that bad back of Shawn Michaels. Uh, I think Triple H is getting a little nervous there. But Shawn Michaels is back up. Yep, just hit Jericho with a jawbreaker. Um, and it is surprising that he could hold on with that history of back injuries. Yeah, well, Shawn Michaels is a fighter. He would love to be the Cruiserweight Champion once again, as you said. He would like to have all the championships. Yes, he sure would. And uh, he's not going to give up that easily. And now these two locking up. Shawn Michaels going for another neck breaker, and he gets it. Amazingly, it's Shawn Michaels now taking control after being in the walls of Jericho. Oh, there's that stomp to the face. God, what, yes. Nothing else you could say about that. Maybe it just fired him up. Yeah, he, uh, he knew that it was a now or never type of situation, that Jericho was bringing the top of his game, and that uh, he was showing him the best that he had there. And uh, he knew if he could just hold on, then he could probably win this match. And we'll see if he's right. Man, he is, he's had an answer for everything Chris Jericho has thrown at him uh, ever since that move. Yes. Chris Jericho has been able to get literally zero offense since locking in the walls of Jericho. Yeah, and I'm sure he's hating being on the outside right now, but luckily for him, Shawn Michaels is going to toss him back in. Unluckily, he's going to get an elbow on the apron first. Right. He's going to have Whoa, a nice. Oh, nice. Jericho with the baseball slide. Whoa, now he's going off God. the top. Nicely and he gets done. him. Wow. Talk that, about changing the tide. Yes. Oh. Uh, and now that reverse bulldog thing again. Um, Wait a minute. Wow. Oh, man. Look at that Dana disrespect Triple H on Triple H. Yes. It's just sucker punched him sure did but triple h uh took it in uh, stride but i'm sure he's not a big fan of that neck breaker he just received look at the cockiness oh man they got kicked right the, in the midsection for that cockiness yeah earned that one yeah no kidding oh no don't do this sean oh, michaels oh, neil patrick man. harris as always just gonna let it slide <laughs> no sean kidding. michaels dragging him out to the center of the ring oh, kicking man. him again uh oh, back sweet! Oh. Talk about a kick! Sweet chin music out of nowhere! Jericho is down. This could be it. It almost certainly is. Shawn Michaels is going for the pin. One, two. Wait oh, a minute! But Mick Foley has what? distracted Neil Patrick Harris. Oh my gosh, I think that was the difference maker. Yes. Oh, but Shawn Michaels has him rolled up now. But Neil Patrick Harris isn't looking, and Jericho kicks out. Oh, in fact, he counters Whoa. it. This is the move where he won the championship. Neil Patrick Harris, you gotta look. Oh no, oh, I know Triple H is distracting him. Neil Patrick Harris is so distracted, he's looking right <laughs> over the pin. Triple H is actually between, yeah, the pin is actually between Triple H and uh, Neil Patrick, whatever. Two. Oh, it's Shawn Michaels. A victory anyway. Shawn Michaels, I think, was just resting. Yes, countering into another pin. Oh, man. And Chris Jericho might have been fooled because that was how he won the championship, if you'll recall. He had him lo yes. had edge locked in that pin for like a minute. Yes, the longest pin ever recorded. Oh, in and now Mick Foley's been kicked out. No more distractions here. Wow, suddenly this match is even more intense. Look at this. Another roll up. One, two. Uh oh, uh -oh but Shawn Michaels kicks out. And now he's got Chris Jericho now. in that pin. One. Oh, oh, and Chris Jericho brings it out. And coming He's him back in. with his own. One. Oh, just my one gosh. Count. Wow. What a match these guys are having right now. Yes, and what an exchange that was. So many pins, so little time. Ooh. We are back to the damn drawing board here. Yes. Uh, we've seen the Sweet Jim music. We've seen the walls of Jericho, neither of which could put either of these men down. 
Ooh. But Jericho stomping on Shawn Michaels could do it. Shawn Michaels has to be battered and bruised at this point. That back has got to be hurting. Right. And I bet it's hurting a lot more now. Definitely. Oh, man. Whoa. Shawn Michaels oh, firing up. up. No kidding. Oh, no. Oh. We've got the we've got the dimension of fired up arriving here no again. No kidding. The and colors are changing. Shawn Michaels put him up and hit him with a power slam. Whoa. Now he's dragging him out to the center of the ring. What's he going for? I think it's sharpshooter time. Oh, sharp right. shooter time. Shawn sharp Michaels shooter. has got Jericho in the sharpshooter. Will he tap? He's right out there in the middle of the ring. There's no chance of getting to the rope. But Shawn Michaels letting it go. Oh, man. I, yeah, he may have lost his grip on that one. He may have. Tossing Jericho against the ropes. No way. Oh! He was so impressed by Edge's pop-up spear that he wow. thought he would take a little twist of it. You're Two, not kidding. It's three. over. Shawn, Shawn Michaels, the new cruiserweight champion. Oh! What a victory. Yes, Holy that was a huge move. I mean, the pop-up spear was impressive, but that might have been one better. Yes. Holy crap. Let's see if we can see that again. Oh, that's the first week in music. Chris Jericho was able to survive that one, although I think it might have had something to do with Mick Foley. I can't really remember. But yes. uh, look at this. Oh, well, this is definitely not the uh, pop-up. I'm not sure why they had that as part of the uh, thing. Here's yeah, the they've got a questionable highlight reel here. The sharpshooter uh, was locked in. That was good. Yes. And, and there's, there's the, the cover. pin that won it. So they did not uh, bother showing the best move, of course. We need to fire this guy, too. Yeah, no kidding. We need to be doing this. Xbox ourselves. celebrating right. with Shawn Michaels. D-Generation X riding high, and they've got championship gold once again. Yes. Well, ladies and gentlemen from Wildfire Wrestling, I'm Tree Trunk Shawn. This is Slow Burn. And we will catch you next Friday night.